Hi, I'll get right to the video, I promise. I just wanted to tell you guys that Dandelion is officially out and I know I've been talking about it for so long and thank you so much for your patience and excitement with me, but it is actually on shelves in the world, in your homes, and it feels really, really, really good. So thank you guys so much for the support. Like, you really blew me away. And you know, I was nervous. I really fucking was. So thank you so much for the insane support that you guys gave me on this book. There's signed copies available. There is an audiobook version available and the books obviously themselves are available. So that's all linked down below if you want to grab it. But I just wanted to say thank you for the support and yeah. Okay. Thank you guys so, so, so much. Here's the video. Oh, and also I'm putting out a song on October 30th. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> I've never done this in front of Peyton before and it is kind of weird. We're here today because we scammed a scam artist out of $13,000. And here's how we did it. So, <laughs> you guys may know that I've been, is this weird listening no. to it? Okay. Are you filming me? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Peyton and I at one point fostered a dog. If you haven't seen that video, check out where we fostered our dog fish. And it was a really great experience, but I think that we both realized we're cat people. Yeah. <laughs> they're good enough for Joe Zach, they're good enough for me. Do you want to know how much I believe Carol Baskin killed her husband? 100%. But do you want to know how much I believe it's 100%? I don't even really like talking about it that much because I'm afraid of Carol Baskin. Like she'll see it and be like, damn. We decided we want a cat, but Peyton is also allergic to cats. So we have to get a hypoallergenic cat. So I've hit up a few shelters and I've asked them, do you have any hypoallergenic cats? Basically the answer is usually we can't tell because they're rescues. So we really never know if we are getting that hypoallergenic cat or not. So even though we truly believe in adopting and rescuing animals, you're allergic to cats. My fault. <laughs> Before we get any further in this video, I just want everyone to know that I did end up fostering cats that were found under a house. Hi, Freddy. Hello, Mr. Freddy Percury. That I'm highly allergic to, but we love you, so we take pills every day. Here is Radio Gaga. Hi. Hi, honey. You're such a sweetheart. Oh my God. Are you kidding me with your cuteness? Oh, she's loving it. Oh, she's loving it. Anyway, those are my cats, Freddie Percury and Radio Gaga. If you'd like to see the video of me adopting and raising them from feral angry little kittens to these cute little cats, I'll leave a link below. Bye, Freddie. Come hang out with me and got a one every ready. So I found this breed of cat called Devon Rex Cat. They're so weird looking in the cutest way. They have the massive alien ears, big beautiful eyes, skinny necks, their hair is short and curly. They're just little alien cats and I love them. Oh, and they're hypoallergenic. So I started looking all over for Devon Rex cats and they're sold out everywhere. There's a huge waiting list for them. They're like anywhere between a thousand and three thousand dollars and there's one breeder in California and there's a massive waiting list for it. So imagine my excitement when I stumbled upon this website called EnchantingDevons247.com. Even though everywhere, <laughs> as I retell it, I realize how f***ing dumb I am. So all of these cats everywhere are sold out, but there's one place, EnchantingDevons247.com, that had about 15 kittens left, and they were the most beautiful kittens I'd ever seen, and they were half off. Yes, I was discount shopping a cat. But he said that they were half off because they're not able to sell in this time. We can't say the word because YouTube does not allow us to say it. And they said that there was a new litter coming, so they were trying to get rid of more cats. So these cats were $700 piece and they would ship them anywhere in the country, US and Canada, for $150 overnight, which yes, of course, saying it now, I'm realizing how obvious it was that it wasn't real. But I was very excited to get a cat. Everything seemed peachy keen. I was like, you know what? If he's a cat breeder, maybe he has some type of deal where he can ship cats. That's weird, right? Cat shipping. You can ship animals. Of course. I get so f***ing excited. There's 15 cats. I'm looking through them all. I can't pick which cats. I'm literally posting pictures of these cats on my Patreon being like, hey guys, which cats? I'm taking polls asking people which cat I should get. I'm sending pictures to my friends asking which cat I should get. I'm so dedicated. I thought I was going to have a cat literally the next day. So I email them. I fill out my little form, I say my name, where I am, and I get an email back from Enchanting Devons to 
EnchantingDevons247.com. That's a tongue twister. Mm -hmm. Hi there, hope you're well. This message is to notify you that we received your order on one of our kittens. Just $700 because we have incoming litters and we need space. Also, we need to upgrade our breeding facility. All kittens have been vet checked, CFA and TICA registered, dewormed, on shots, potty trained, and hypoallergenic. And then they ask you to answer all these questions like, do you have temporary assistance? Does your employment keep you away from your home? Is there anybody there if you're not home? All these questions that make it seem like they really care about the cats. They even say these questions are important to the relation of the well-being of your future kitten. So I get this email from Dave Anderson, which we're going to have to assume is not his name. So I answer back with all the questions and then they answer back. Thanks for getting back to me. The kittens have great personalities, cuddling being one of them. We're located at this address. We should look up that address. I can't believe we haven't. This email is just so detailed. It'll take two to five hours to complete, like just so much information. Am I crazy for thinking it was real at this point? What? You were in it because you were the one being like, just do it, babe. I was in it. Actually, it took until the next It was the morning. next day. You were still telling me to buy that damn cat. You want that cat. I can remember when <laughs> it became cat. not real. It became not real when I said, babe, this is definitely not real. And you said, off oh, real. <laughs> All I saw were pictures of cats, so of course I because we're so weird. cute. So I send an email. I said thank you. Right now I'm looking between five, but after some more research, would a female be better? Would love your opinion. Definitely would like a smaller cat. Have the kittens grown much since their last photos were taken? Do you have any favorites or recommendations based on their personality? Since I can't come play in person, he says Annie will be good for you. I think. Also, the pics are very recent and upstaged. Just hours old pics of them, so they look exactly the same. So then I asked about this cat named Blanche. And I said, is Blanche much smaller or is that just a younger photo? She looks tiny. So then they said, she's just a little smaller. All the photos are of yesterday. But they literally just said the pics are hours old. So at this point, I know that he's lying about when the pictures were taken and some other red flags had popped up as well. One, all the cat's pictures were taken on different backgrounds. I don't know how I didn't notice this sooner. If you have a cattery and you're taking pictures of cats and you're taking all the cat's pictures at the same time, you'd probably take them in the same place, right? Two, everywhere else, there's this massive waiting list for kittens and this guy happens to have 15 of the cutest kittens I've ever seen in my life available. Three, it was only $150 to overnight a cat. Four, how the do you overnight a cat? Five, they're usually $3,000 cats and he was selling them for $700. And finally, I decided maybe I should reverse Google search a couple of the cats. And then one of them, this cat right here, Totoro, showed up on a website from 2019, even though the cat here is listed as being born in 2020. At this point, realizing that the kittens were fake, I'm heartbroken. I had my heart set on these kittens. I spent probably 36 hours straight looking at these kittens, trying to choose a kitten, looking on Amazon for kitten products, researching the breed of kitten to make sure I knew how to take it, preparing to spend $1,700 on two cats, which by the way is apparently a steal for these cats. That's a great deal. So I'm mad, but I took a note from the guy who did this video. I don't know if you guys have seen this video. It has 49 million views, so statistically you've probably seen this video, but he basically scammed a scammer and started responding and playing along. So I said, I can do that. I asked my patrons who knew from the start that I wanted a kitten and I'd been asking all of them, which kitten should I get? And they had a lot of opinions on the kittens. They were very excited about the kittens, they were fighting for their favorite kitten, so I, I had to break the news to them. Hey, the kittens are a scam. I'm an idiot. Let's have some fun. Give me some questions to ask about the kittens. I'm gonna tell him that I've decided I want all the kittens. Is that possible? And he said, which ones? And I said, Annie, Totoro, Blanche, Kiki, Honeybee, Mr. Roboto, Thor, Callie, Bubbles, Sunshine, Frankie, Calvin, Walter, Clyde, and Abby. I said, I want and love them all. I have a huge house in California and money to spend. Plus I work from home, so I have plenty of time. Not exactly a lie. By the way, did he make up these names? He had to have. There's no way this guy would have named the cat Mr. Roboto. 100% did. He's not that cool. So he said, there are 15 in number. So each costs $700 plus shipping of $150. So we're giving each a total of $850. For all 15, it will be $12,750. Do you have the funds and ability to buy and take care of them? If yes, then we'll proceed to make the sales contract and send you to sign. Confirm with me if you have the funds and also can you make the payment today? So he's very anxious to get this payment. I said, yep. Funds are no problem, just send your banking info. I told him my 
business manager is looped in and prepared to send the money. I live in a mansion with my boyfriend and other friends. We're going to have so much fun and space for kittens. So I had to give an address and a number. Obviously don't want to give him my address and number. So I gave him my business manager's phone number with her permission. So I now have the contract. To me, this contract, what this was, was to make it seem like this guy cared about the kittens. Because there's nothing in this contract about financials or banking info. Basically care instructions that I can't give it to a pet store, I can't resell it. So basically I call this contract a red herring. He won't let me buy the cats unless I sign this contract saying I'm gonna take care of them. If he was just in for the money, he would just send me the banking info. So I said perfect, I'm finishing up some work and then I'll get to the contract. A few questions. Who are the parents of the cats? Do you have photos of them? So excited. I'm so happy I found you. So obviously this guy doesn't have photos of the parents because all of these cats are different cats taken from different parts of the world. He said, okay, finish up and send me a signed copy. Ignores the question about the parents. I checked on your address you gave and it's a post office, which damn, I gave them the Team 10 House post office. Secondly, I called the number and could not talk with you. What is happening? I won't want to sell my kittens to someone whom I won't be able to reach on phone or know her exact address. So I'm like, how could I fumble so hard? However, I don't know if you guys knew this. I'm a genius. This is how I weaseled my way out of this. I gave you my business manager's number. I don't send my personal number, especially involving money over the internet. I've been hacked before. You can ask her and tell her you're calling in regards to me. I'm such a bozo. I moved in with everyone. They've been here a couple years, so I messed up. We're not supposed to give people our real address, so they have us use a PO box. So I'm used to typing that address out of habit. Sorry about that. Please send an updated contract. In the meantime, can you let me know about the parents? I would love to know some history about my new babies. I'm also wondering, do the cats mate with each other? I'm very religious and incest makes me uncomfortable. Thank you. His response to all of that, okay, you explained well. Let's go with the old address you gave. Completely ignoring the fact that my shipping address is now a P.O. box. He's gonna ship my kittens to a P.O. box. The cats won't mate because they have been neutered and spayed, okay? Talking about parents, the kittens came from different nursing mothers and similar fathers. I said, oh good. The idea of kittens mating is disgusting. Yuck! I'd like to know a little bit more about you. Where are you from? Have you been breeding kittens long? You seem like a really good guy. He said, yes, we got the experience. We have just never had all our kittens sold to one individual before. Now we sent you the contract, so we're waiting for the signed copy to proceed. Thanks. Then I say, are they leash trained? I plan on taking taking them on walks. I already ordered 15 leashes from Amazon. They're for dogs, but I figured what's the difference, right? The cat ones were more expensive for the same leash. It's almost like they're trying to steal money just by saying it's the same leash for cats. Also, I was wondering, will they eat my boyfriend's hamster? I'm hoping they could be good friends. It would be fun to recreate the opening scene of The Lion King with Kiki as Mufasa and the hamster as Simba. Do you think that would work? Are they calm enough to pose for pictures? I want them to be Instagram famous. These kittens are well trained and good at pics as you can see on our website. The kittens will come with a manual to help you overcome the transition period. I understand you're putting so much money in and that's why I also want to make sure everything goes smoothly by first signing a sales contract with you, okay? I was wondering, do the kittens speak any other language than English? I live with Spanish twins and I want to make sure they can all play together. I don't want them to feel left out. Do they speak Spanish? Could they easily learn? The kittens are young and they will flow perfectly with your lifestyle, okay? They can normally understand English words and if you speak to them and demonstrate what it means, they will for sure pick it up. So they will not be left out okay. You can sign the contract on your phone okay. We do not have any problem with the electronic signature. Can we talk about the fact that he completely just pretended like these kittens speak Spanish? I said, are they all friends okay? Do they get along okay? Do they get along with other cats okay? I have a one-eyed cat named Hunter. He's very old and has trouble eating because his teeth hurt him. He lives under my house. Will they be friends or will they try to eat Hunter okay? He said they are good friends with each other. They are good friends with dogs, other cats, adults, and children so they'll for sure get along with your buddy. At this point, I'm afraid that he's gonna start giving up on me. So I say, I decided to sign myself. My business manager is almost off, so I'm just going to do it. What's the worst that can happen? It's not like you're trying to steal from people who are just looking for a companion. I trust you. Sending now. Question, what religion are the cats? As I mentioned above, I was raised very religiously and I wanna make sure there's no conflict. That could be so awkward. Are they open to converting? He responds, you are 100% in safe hands, okay? I have never stolen anyone's money before and I will not start today, okay? Okay. Since I'm a Christian, then assume they age Christians too. So I say, attaching contract. Hey, so I accidentally typed your number into Google when I was trying to text you and it came up as a Bengal cat's cattery. Do you have Bengals too? I've been looking for all types of exotic kittens and I can't seem to find Bengals anywhere. Can I have some Bengals please? And I, as promised, attached a signed contract. 
He says, yes, we will talk about the bangles also later. I have a few. Now the contract is perfect. So now you will have to make payment, okay? You will do a direct bank deposit, okay? Are you able to do the direct bank deposit now so that I can start preparing them to ship out tomorrow? I say, no, I won't be able to do it tonight until my business manager can do it in her office tomorrow. In the meantime, let's talk bangles. How many do you have? Let's send them all together. He didn't answer me, so I started to get a little nervous. I said, I have another very important question. Oh my God, I'm so stressed thinking about how dumb I am that I almost paid $13,000 without asking. $13,000 is a lot of money. So I was just wondering, how many lives of their nine lives do each cat have left? I would have hated if they only had one or two lives left and died super early. Still didn't answer me. So I responded to get him back. Oh, I think she might be able to make the payment tonight. And now he's back. I'm sending you the account details next to make the payment before someone comes and buys the kittens, okay? <gasps> he's threatening me. So I say, okay, please don't let anyone buy my kittens. One more question. I don't believe in surgery. Can I put my female cats on birth control instead of having them spayed? This man said, when I said, can I put my cats on birth control? He said, yes, you can do that to female kittens. <laughs> <laughs> so he gives me the bank details and he says once done send us receipt. Okay, so <laughs> I have a friend who can track IP addresses. I want to know where this guy is So I have my friend make me this link where if he clicks it I will get his IP address his information his location, etc, etc, etc So I said great click here to accept the invite my business manager makes us approve everything from here Just press confirm and then accept and it'll give her the okay to release the funds He says so am accepting the invite into what I being a genius said it's basically just saying that we both agree on the transaction I already clicked accept on my end to send the funds. Now you just need to approve the amount and address, etc. It's to stop any errors and wiring since it's such a large amount. We do it with my stocks this way too, smiley face. Didn't that sound legit? He said, the link took me to Instagram. <laughs> so now I have all of his information. I have his exact location, his country, his region, his IP address. I know a lot about this man at this point. So I email him, you live in, I don't know how to say this. You live in Yaoundé, Cameroon, right? Is that what you said earlier around littoral? Douala? I'm <laughs> doing my best. So now he knows he's fucked, which is a very fun place to be. And he says, after he's already clicked the link. You don't expect me to click an unknown link, do you? All my passwords on my laptop and phone have been hacked and they took out $25,000 out of my bank account. I can never click any link on my phone or PC for no reason. I didn't click the link. I sent it to my IT technician. Isn't the T in IT? It, it is. Tech? That's like when people say pin number. Whatever. That, is that what we're gonna pick apart? The fact that he's an IT technician? Or not. <laughs> he told me it's a link to Instagram and he opened it on a remote device somewhere in Africa. Nice. <laughs> in parentheses, I don't really know what that means. So I said, that's you, right? I can send you your latitude and longitude if you need me to be more specific. I just wanna make sure you get the money for all my beautiful kittens. This next email is where I'm just like, oh, you're shameless. After I sent him his latitude and longitude, his city, his region, his address, please go ahead and send the money. I already sent you a contract to sign that S already a cover for you and me. So there is not need for this links you are sending. I have always been warned not to click any links. So at this point, he's still trying to get me to send him money. So I said, hmm, I think you might just be a scammer in Africa. And his response to that, of me saying, are you a scammer in Africa is, so the link was to hack my bank accounts and passwords, sends another follow-up email. I no longer feel safe. Why send me a link to hack my devices? My technician says the link is not safe. So here's where I'm getting a little bored with this and he knows he's been caught. So I said, it's so weird. When I did a reverse Google image search of your kittens, they showed up on a website from early 2019. So strange considering your site says Totoro was born in 2020. I'll forgive you if you send me $13,000. Now, I never planned on actually accepting any money, so I don't think this technically counts as blackmail because I would have never accepted it. I'm just giving him a taste of his own medicine because he tried to scam me out of $13,000. So after all this, he knows that I for 100% fact know that he is a kitten scammer and he still responds 
after all of this. I understand your concern about assurance of getting your kitten and also understand there's a lot going online these days, especially as some wicked people try to take advantage of pet lovers. I know how people work very hard to make ends meet just like myself and we will never even think of taking anyone's hard earned money for what is not real. It is normal to be skeptical, but I'm an honest person and I truly know how hurtful it would be for someone to be serious about adopting a baby and you break his or her heart and steal from them. This is not a regular free ad or classified ad, but this is a Google ad, meaning that we have been verified by Google and improved, and I only come to the internet to locate good homes for my kittens, neither to deceive someone nor tarnish my image. Wow. This is a great monologue. So I say, where would you like to send my $13,000? Doesn't answer, so I respond, question mark, question mark. He responds, I provided you bank account details already. If there should be any situation, you can go to your bank and report, okay? I am not a thief. I've never stolen anybody's money before and I will not start today. I am a father of five and my eldest son is 32. He has a three years old daughter. Imagine me being paraded on TV in front of my kids and Rand's daughter as a thief. Am I responsible person, okay? So he knows. He's trying to guilt trip me now at this point. And I respond, I guess you could say you've been catfished. And that was our last email that we exchanged. So long story short, don't f with cats. I'm just kidding. But that was a really good documentary. <laughs> long story short, I almost got scammed. I had a lot of fun with it. However, I still really, really, really want a Devon Rex cat. So we're gonna be on the lookout. I'm still reaching out to different shelters, hoping to find some type of hypoallergenic cat. I would also love a Russian blue cat. Freddy, I am so sorry that I ever doubted you. You are worth all of the sneezing and all of the itchy eyes. Oh. Yes. And let me know if you liked this. I hope, did, did you have fun? That was great. Did we all have fun? I was still talking to you. Oh. It is okay. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, check out my music and my books. It'll all be linked down below. That feels so cool to say, like, my books. <laughs> this is this week's showstopper of the week. Thank you so much for being so supportive. I love you. Mwah. I've been seeing so many more of you on Twitter lately and that's been so much fun. I've been following so many of you. These are my top two tiers of patrons. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. You're literally helping my dreams come true. That spider is still dangling on the viewfinder. You are helping my dreams come true, so thank you. As always, I love you very much. Thank you for being a part of my family and I'll see you next time. <gasps> a spider just flew onto my camera. Yeah. <gasps> Damn, I do look fine as hell. Ooh. 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 <laughs> it's getting really dark in here.